Hey, what's up? This is Marcos with Future Studio University. In this video, we will highlight specific texts on the command line. Up to this point, we printed multiple messages on the command line, and in your terminal, you usually have a default color scheme like a dark one or a light one, and console log will always use the default color for text, but you might want to indicate specific text as a success in green or as an error or warning in yellow or red. And let's do that with ACE because ACE provides methods to print colorful logs. So let's copy over one of the commands and prepare it for colorful logs. Okay, from here we can start implementing colorful messages. So ACE provides convenient methods like this.success to print out a success message in green. And let's go for went smooth like chocolate. All right, so you can also print an info message like, well, this is an info text. Let's add a smiley and you can also add the warning text or an error text. So let me quickly add the text for the messages and then we will check out how this looks on the command line. All right, so let's head over to item and check our CLI. Well, we did not add that to our commands yet. So let's go over here and add the colors command, which is located over here. All right, back to item. And there you go. So I will clean the command and then we will go for the colorful command. And there you can see it. The green success text is really nice to highlight success messages. The info messages will be printed in blue, the warnings in yellow and the error messages in red. And well, this is really nice to indicate an error to make you aware of specific contexts in the application. Let me show you another little detail of ACE because it provides another two convenient methods that we will use. So let's print an empty, oh, an empty line to separate the other two methods that I will show you in a second from the little prints. And I want to note that the this, this dot completed method will expect an action. You can say the action is we wanted to create something and then it expects the message. So it completed to create the completed.js file. So the other method you might expect it as failed we failed to create the failed.js file all right so let's switch over to item again and print out the colorful locks again so up here are the four prints and colors then the empty line and there you can see the create action failed no the create action succeeded and completed for the completed.js file but the create action failed for the failed.js file and this might help you to indicate specific context in your app, like doing operations where you want to fetch something or download something, whatever. So use these colorful logs to highlight and emphasize specific context in your app and have fun using it. So see you in the next video.